But as I got hit, um, I looked down at the floor and I could see blood sort of pouring out of my, uh, where my eye was, where my eye, where my eye socket sort of. Thing. So I remember thinking, oh, this is bad. I put my hand on my eye and my hand was covered in blood. And I knew it was a cheap shot. Somebody had like basically punched me in the face with it and he had a forearm guard on. So I went to the referee who wouldn't look at me. I said, ref, you need to have a look at that. I couldn't see out my eye. So I didn't know if I'd lost my sight. But I thought I need to try keep, keep calm here. So the physio went on, they took me off. Um, I went to sort of blow my nose and my eyes started swelling up, which is a sign of a fractured uh, eye socket. I was lying on a, on a bed under the stand, had my eyelid stitched back up. And you obviously can't close your eyes and not look at it. So I'm watching this surgeon stitch my eye back together. And I remember at that point thinking, and I had a, a, my one-year-old, my girl was one at the time. I remember thinking there must, there must be easier ways to win a living than this. I'm actually surprised. I'm actually gobbed for that. There's not more injuries in rugby. And I actually think rugby is doing, for the situation it's in, I think it's actually doing a great job.